Do you hear that? Yep, that's a running toilet. And today I'm gonna to show you how to fix it. Hi everyone, my name is Nasreen and if you like good home tips and DIY videos, make sure and hit the subscribe button. Today I'm gonna to go over some of the most common reasons that the toilet could be running. I'll also show you how to change out the fill valve and the flapper. One of the most common issues that causes the toilet to run is a worn out flapper. It could be warped or mineral buildup. You could buy just this part, it costs about five bucks and they're really easy to replace. First, we're gonna turn off the water supply valve behind the toilet. Next, I'm going to flush it to remove the water in the tank. I'm going to unhook the chain. Then I'm going to pull these up and they come right off. That's really simple to remove. The new one goes on just the same way. We're going to snap it in. there and then hook the chain back on. And that's it. Another issue I've seen is that the chain is too loose and it gets caught under the flapper. If that's the case, all you have to do is tighten the chain and there's a couple holes for that. The third thing I've seen is the water level is too high and it's spilling over into the overflow tube. You fix it by adjusting this screw. Turning it left makes the water level go down and turning it right makes it go up. Turn it down until the water rises to about a half inch below the overflow valve. That looks pretty good right there, about an inch from the top. One of the last things it could be is the flow is not moving up and down properly or the valve underneath this cap is no good and the valve is the problem with this one. In either case, you just wanna replace the whole thing. This fill valve costs about $10. It's really easy to replace, and it only takes about 15 minutes to do it yourself. And I'm gonna show you how to change it right now. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure the water's off. Then you wanna hold down the handle till all the water drains from the tank to the bottom. Don't let go, keep holding it. Drain as much as you can. As you can see, there's still a little water in the bottom of the tank. You can use a shop vac or some towels to get it out. You definitely want to make sure and get all the water out of the tank because once you undo it down here, whatever water is left in the tank will leak on the floor. Now I'm going to unscrew this nut right here. A little water is dripping out, but not much. Oop, good thing I have a towel handy. Now I'm gonna unscrew this one all the way off. You just pull this up and unclip it and it's out. Just gonna clean it up a little bit and then put in the new one. Now it comes with these pieces and the tube hooks up right here and the other end hooks up to this thing. And the washer goes flat side up. As simple as that. Let's go put it on. Before you put this on, you want to adjust it so the top of the fill valve is three inches above the overflow pipe. And you do that by twisting this out. And then you just got to test it. A little bit higher. That looks about three inches above the overflow pipe. Once you have your height adjusted, you clip this back onto the overflow pipe with the hose directed into the hole like this. Now I'm gonna tighten the lock nut back on. Pull the fill valve on the top while you're turning this because it will move. Now we're gonna connect our water supply and try it out. Okay, get it tight enough. Now I'm gonna turn the water on and make sure it's not leaking. Looks pretty good, no leaks so far. Let's let it fill up. Now you hear that? Completely quiet. That means it was fixed by me. That was really easy and anybody can do it. Don't forget to subscribe and share my videos. 
see you on the next one.